Epiphany 1, Friday, Faith and Fruits of Faith. For behold, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, as grain is sifted in a sieve. Yet the smallest grain shall not fall to the ground. Amos 9, verse 9. Dear Redeemed, Christians face dangers to the right and to the left. On the one hand, some may claim the name Christian by virtue of their good works, thus denying that the forgiveness of sins is by the grace of God through faith in Christ. On the other hand, others might claim the name Christian and neglect doing good works, using the gospel as the excuse for their laziness. In the Old Testament book of Amos, God says he will come to render judgment, sifting out true believers from false believers. We read of this in the New Testament as well. John himself wore a garment of camel's hair and a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Then Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region went out to meet him, and were baptized by him in the Jordan River, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, Brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Bear fruit worthy of repentance, and do not think to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I say to you that God is able out of these stones to raise up children to Abraham, and already the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Therefore every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and cast into the fire. I baptize you with water to repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire, whose winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will thoroughly clean out his threshing floor, and he will gather his wheat into the barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Matthew chapter 3, verses 4 through 12. Calling yourself a Christian counts as nothing, not any more than those who claim Abraham as their father. Though good works neither produce faith nor grant salvation, a faith barren of good works is a false faith. God will sift through and separate such a chaffy faith. What are you to do to produce fruits of faith? Read the Ten Commandments from the standpoint of what they expect, faith toward God and love for your neighbor. You have various vocations and stations in your life, father, mother, son, daughter, citizen, member of a congregation, etc. There are responsibilities for these. Carry them out to the glory of God, in faith in Christ, and for the welfare of your neighbor. When asked that question, John answered, The one having two coats let him give to him who has none, and the one having food, let him do likewise. Also tax collectors came to be baptized, and they said to him, Teacher, what should we do? He said to them, Collect no more than is appointed for you. Soldiers asked him, saying, And what should we do? He said to them, Do not take money by violence or accuse falsely, and be content with your wages. Luke 3, verses 11 through 14. Prayer. Grant me, I beg you, Almighty God, a steadfast faith in Jesus Christ and an active love for my neighbor. Amen. Hymn number 314, stanza 10. From faith in Christ, when e'er tis right, good works are surely flowing. The faith is dead that shuns the light, no good works ever showing. By faith alone the just shall live, good works alone the proof can give of love which true faith worketh.